Hello and welcome to PSVR News on this evening's edition. An analyst firm has predicted how many units the PSVR 2 will sell by 2027. Song of the Smoke Rekindled is coming to PSVR 2 and is set to be superior to the PC viewer version. And all known PSVR 2 games that use eye tracking in tangible ways. Analyst and consultancy firm Omida have given their estimation on what they believe the PSVR 2 will sell, both in its first year and by 2027. Our predictions correspondent Okoro has more. In a recent interview with Edge Magazine article, the firm stated their belief that the PSVR 2 headset will move 1.6 million units in 2023. For comparison, the PSVR 1's first year on sale moved 1.9 million units. This is a decrease. However, they believe that by 2027, the PSVR 2 headset will move 10 million units, an almost 100% increase on the PSVR 1, which only sold roughly 6 million units. However, analyst George Gigiashvili states that these predictions are based on Sony's ability to deliver really compelling games to drive sales in the first year. It's worth keeping in mind that nobody can really predict the future, so take these estimates with a pinch of salt. This is Okoro, reporting live for PSVR News. Back to you in the studio. In the same issue of Edge magazine, it was revealed that 17bis, the studio behind Song in the Smoke, would be making a remastered version of that game for the PSVR 2 launch. However, the creative director of the game claims that this version will be superior even to the PC VR version. Our Song of the Smoke correspondent, Jordan borden Peterson has more. It's regarded as one of the last great games to release on the PSVR. But Song in the Smoke Rekindled, the remaster from 17-bit games, may now also be regarded as one of the first great games to release for the PSVR 2. Creative director, Jake Casdell told Edge magazine the following, it wasn't a light upgrade, it was a ton of work and up of so many visual systems, it stands alone, even compared to the highest end version possible on PC VR, it's honestly not even close, but it's not just a visual boost, as 17 bit later confirmed that it would provide many additional features and polish driven by feedback from the players, making it the ultimate edition of that game. 17-bit intends for the remaster to be a free upgrade for those who already own the PSVR 1 version. However, they are still working out the logistics behind that. The painful reality of the situation is that the PSVR 2 will not be backwards compatible with PSVR 1 titles. So. When developers like 17-bit put in the work at no additional cost for existing owners, it fills my heart with joy. This is Jordan Borden Peterson. Back to you in the studio. Our final story tonight. PlayStationFanatic.com have put together a list of all the PSVR 2 titles that use the eye-tracking features in a unique way. The list includes the following. Firewall Ultra's use of weapon selection and interaction with the hood. Switchback VR using the player's blinking to make mannequins on the screen move closer toward the player. Tentacular, which will let players select villagers and dialogue options with their eyes. Moss and Moss Book 2, which will let players highlight interactable objects by looking at them. Demio, which will let players navigate the menus rapidly with their eyeballs. And finally, Cosmonius High, which will be using the eye tracking to mimic the player's eye position in real life and include their blink stays also within the game, which will be reflected in mirrors and when taking selfies. I recommend you check out that article in the description for some more details on each of those titles. And finally, I'll leave you with a quick reminder that Sony's CES 2023 showcase will be taking place shortly. I'll have the times and the dates on the screen. I know in the North Americas it will be on the 4th of January, 
whereas over here in Europe it will be in the early hours of the 5th of January, so it can be a little bit confusing. You can join me here on this channel as I'll be live streaming the event in the hopes of catching some PSVR2 news live as it happens. That's it for me on PSVR News. Remember to like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube and shite to help this channel station stay alive and provide you with all the updates for PSVR2 that you could ever need. Thank you for watching. Please stay moist.